So, yeah, I'm excited about this. Like, I want to see it. Obviously, The Rock is going to be the face of this whole thing. Uh, he's not the architect of it. That would be Danny Garcia. You know, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm curious. Yep. Now, next up, let's jump into these very quickly. Antonio Brown over the weekend. I think it was uh, Friday night or Friday afternoon, whatever it was. Um, Antonio Brown got an eight-game suspension from the NFL. Now, let me read this from Yahoo Sports. It said, uh, the league announced Friday the free agent wideout will be suspended without pay for the first eight games of the 2020 season. Well, that's not hard to do considering he's not on a team, right? So, easy enough. However, we we do know that there are teams that are interested in him, right? So, Tampa Bay, yeah. obviously, he and Tom Brady have a great relationship. Uh, he was already with New England before the Seattle Seahawks, obviously, uh, are interested in him. And the Ravens, Lamar Jackson, desperately wants him on the team. I mean, could you imagine him and Hollywood Brown on, on opposite end? I mean, good gracious. Uh, so, that... Leads to this. The uh, the 32-year-old's suspension will begin week one, even if Brown is not on an NFL team. The NFL, yeah, that's how suspensions work. Right. The NFL can extend Brown's suspension depending on what happens in his civil suit, according to Tom Pelissero of the NFL Network. So, what are your thoughts here? So, that makes sense. Eight games makes total sense because that's kind of what's been given out for some of these type of issues. Okay, and uh, and so so that that doesn't surprise me that it's eight games. I do appreciate the fact that they put a number on it now, so he can now begin to find suitors, and they know what they're buying. I understand the ability to change this as well, pending new information come out in the civil suit. Okay, if if we get new evidence of more damning things that he has done, and and they come out in a court of law, then then you have you have to have the flexibility and the right to say mm, we're gonna we're gonna make that a, a lifelong sentence or a twelve game sentence or whatever you want to make it. Yeah. Um. They they have the right to do that. So with that being said, there is zero chance in hell he ends up in New England. You cannot make fun of the owner. <laughs> I agree. Of the team and then expect a job from that man. That just don't work. Um. And uh, and yeah, I don't know where so, he ends so up. So we're down to the Bucks, the Ravens, and no. the Seahawks. Really, that's that's where we're down to. But I assure you that if Buffalo thinks they could still get him, they'll take him. They originally tried to trade for him, and he didn't want to go to Buffalo. Now I bet he'd give his baby pinky toe to go to Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, do you think that he gets signed before the season starts, or or are they just going to wait it out and, and see what happens? Nobody will wait the full eight games, but yeah, I don't know. At some point in time, here, what's got to happen for him to get signed quickly is enough teams have to think they're not the only one looking at him. Yeah. And if you get three or four teams, really you just need two teams and to get leaked out that there's another team interested. This is not a draft type situation. This is first man to the table with an offer that's probably going to get him. And then, you know, Drew Rosen, well, I don't even, yeah, I don't know how this agency is going to work. Drew would have not done any deal until he had at least three offers that he could pit against one yeah. another. Um, don't know what his new people are going to do, but we'll we'll just see. Um, the only person that is talking about him right now is Pete Carroll and the Seattle Seahawks. Um, he, he, Pete Carroll said it's a very complex situation. We just need to see how it fits somewhere down the road. That's all I got for you. So. Yeah. You know, I, I think some teams are going to try and, and get a few more details about this civil suit to figure out is there anything else that's going to happen here before they sign him. So, I mean, it, it could be, you know, three, four games into the season before anybody takes that chance because they're, they're going to want to see what comes out of this, you know. Sure. Uh, there's no reason to sign somebody and affiliate him with, uh, with your organization if there's a possibility of more, you know, bad stuff coming out. Uh, That's right. Matt Miller said, I hope the Ravens get him. He will blow that locker room up. He's a gigantic diva and a cancer. And Joseph Gomez said, injuries will kick in 